Hi, this is Raya Salter. We are live at the state capitol for Think Tech Hawaii with the mayor of our fair, fair city and some other folks talking about the accessory dwelling unit um, example that is here that can really has the potential to change people's uh, lives and make dents in the affordable housing issues here. So, Mayor, please, please tell us what's going on here and what's your involvement. Well, right, it's great to be down here with you today. I mean, it's a beautiful afternoon on a Friday, and you have volunteers coming down. Standing with us are Duncan McNaughton and Jeff Arce, you know, top, top, top people in our town who build a lot of quality projects, and they're down here volunteering their time. But for, for me, accessory dwelling units are about providing affordable housing in a market that's not being met. This is a 400 square foot unit more or less easy to put up you could provide one of these on on your property um, the city and county of Honolulu has allowed this there's about 120,000 lots on this island that could have an ADU as long as their sewer capacity and parking but that means you have another unit that you can rent that's affordable rental you generate income that could help pay your mortgage in the home that you live in it's a win-win for everyone and we're just really excited the Appleseed project and Habilitat has stepped forward to do one of these here on the Capitol ground. Thank you so much Mayor, that is so exciting. I couldn't agree with you more. Please sir, tell us your name. I'm Jeff Arce with the McNaughton Group. Well, okay. what, what is your involvement with this, with, with, with this project? Can you tell us a bit about what's going on here? Sure, I can tell you a little bit. I just got here myself, but our company tries to get involved in the community. We do real estate development and we try to give back where we can. And this is a great project that we heard about through Hawaii Appleseed and um, Habitat for Humanity. They're putting up this ADU. So uh, a bunch of our people were here working yesterday and we just got here today to help out and work with these great contractors that are volunteering their time as well to put this thing up as a great example of a way to build a nice affordable living and, and very nice area uh, unit. Yeah. Thank you. I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's so exciting. It's always great to see folks in the um, volunteering in the Habitat shirts. Sir, could you please tell us your name and, and uh, uh, your affiliation and what you think about this project? Uh, Duncan McNaughton. I just arrived. I don't even have my outfit on yet. <laughs> that's, that's okay. So I think what the mayor said or what Jeff said covers the uh, project and uh, the McNaughton group is excited to be a part of anything like this. It helps out the affordable nature and uh, we look forward to uh, being uh, uh, hopefully an asset to our effort here. What do you, um, what do you think um, these type of units can mean for, for Hawaii? It obviously would uh, provide housing for a, a community that really needs it, but these houses are designed to go on individual lots that belong to other people, and they rent them out, and uh, this allows uh, more housing for the public in general, actually, and uh, affordable housing as well. Do you think, Mayor, do you think there's going to be a market for these? I definitely think so. In fact, we've now approved through permitting process about 160 of them. There's another 800 that are being reviewed right now. I mean, I think we're just seeing the beginning of a ramp up. Um, people need housing, um, and this is a way to do it without government really putting a lot of effort other than expediting permitting and waiving fees. The rest comes from the private sector and from groups like this that volunteer and step up. I'm hoping that it's the beginning of a, of a trend that will start to address our affordable housing challenges. Oh, thank you so much, Mayor. I guess just a couple more questions. Um, I know you just got here, but what, um, what might something, uh, a unit like this, what, what, a, what might it look like inside? And what are some of the ways that, you know, can someone sort of live comfortable in a, in a small unit? Well, first I want to compliment the mayor on this effort to get this program going because it's a great example of a public-private partnership and many times it does require both the private sector and the public sector to come together and accomplish something like this. So more of this and there's some other areas where we could do it too with, with higher density but this is a great example of the community coming together to do something uh, really special. So inside, uh, again I just got here, I'm not too familiar with it but I did go in and walk around it and there is a trend right now if you look at Kakaako and all the condos people are downsizing and they've lived, they've learned that they can live in a much smaller area and you spend a lot more time at a, the local Starbucks or coffee bean and tea and you you just relax on the street and socialize out there you sleep, maybe you eat in here and you don't need a lot of space but you go inside there, there's a bathroom, there's a shower, there's room for a bed there's room for a desk, you got a kitchen and that's more than enough. It's a nice, comfortable place to live. Fantastic. And so when you do get your shirt on, what do you, what, how are you going to be pitching in today? Whatever they tell me to do. <laughs> Anything that stands out, he'll pound it down. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, gentlemen, um, and thank you so much, Mayor. What a fantastic project. And, oh, let me ask, Mayor, can folks 
When is this going to be done? Can people come down and check this out? Yeah, I think it's going to be done tomorrow, right? They're rushing to try to, try to get it. They're going in fast, and I encourage people to come down. Um, people drive by. It's easy to find parking in the later afternoon, and they should come in and look at it. It is something that may work on their property. And as Jeff mentioned, you know, sometimes you get older, you may not need the big house. You could move into the accessory dwelling unit and rent your house out to a family with children. Win-win for both. I, I couldn't agree more that that'll be the last word. Thank you so much, Mayor. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time today. Thanks, Signing right. off at ThinkTech Hawaii.